Welcome back. When Steve ordered a skip bin, he thought it would be a simple job. Instead, he's ended up in a standoff with a company which refuses to take his rubbish. We're having to block our driveway so that he can't move the bin into our driveway. At this point, what do you want done? Just finish it. Just take it away, go away and stay away. They say one man's trash is another man's treasure, but after two months of dealing with this eyesore, Steve Reynolds wants his trash and this skip bin gone. Steve's trash torment started when he was landscaping his home in Sydney's southwest in October last year. We organised, uh, required a six metre cubic bin to do some landscaping. Organised it from this company. I sent him an SMS confirming six cubic metre, the $650 that he wanted in cash and the delivery address. Very late the day after, he arrives with a 12 cubic metre bin. Oh, this is all I've got, so just fill it up, just to, you know, do what you need and give me a call. Steve claims he only filled half the bin and then tried to get Gabraco skip bins to come back and pick it up. No response, sent him messages on the 6th, in fact all that week. Still no response other than how are you going to pay. My return response to him was, I've already paid you in cash, not paying you anymore. And we've gone from there. So Steve, you paid $650 initially. How much do they want now? My estimate, when we first had conversations, he was saying $500 plus. And so the skip standoff began, with Steve even claiming he was told the rubbish could end up in his driveway. I got something like 12, 14 phone calls from him uh, saying that he would empty it on the street, empty it in my driveway, move the whole bin to my driveway. Scared for what might unfold, Steve and his family had to get creative. Steve, look, they say a man's home is his castle. First line of defence here, is it? First line of defence, this is our moat of our castle to stop him from dropping that damn bin into our driveway. And then, so you got your first line, second line's the car. Second line is the car, and if that car has to go somewhere, we replace it with another one. As weeks passed, with no pickups, Steve claims locals made the most of the extra bin space. Unfortunately, our lovely neighbours and some of the other trades around the area have thought, oh, open skip bin, let's just throw our stuff in there as well. The bin is now very full. Steve says the skip bin providers did come back, but not to move it. To their credit, if there's any credit, they've come along and put a top on it put the blue top on it, but it doesn't really make a difference. People just lift the, lift the blue top up and still put their rubbish in underneath it anyway. It's very ugly and it's very inconvenient for the neighbours, for contractors that are building over here. They can't park on this side of the street. And personally, I think it's exceptionally dangerous for people coming around the corner, either from there or from around this corner. Camden Council has told Steve it'll be fining the company $330 every week this skip isn't collected, after neighbours complained. Council have already expressed uh, concerns that this is damaging the road, that the weight of it, the constant weight there is damaging the road. Every morning we get up and come into the window and go, yep, still there. <laughs> A change of landscape that's left Steve and his family feeling like they're being held to ransom. His plan is just being bloody minded and leave it there until I ring up and go, oh, please take it away, I'll pay you whatever you want. And it's not going to happen. And what do you know, after we got involved, the skip bin disappeared. We went to the owner for comment, but no reply.